Hey everybody, it's Tom from Sugar Wars, and uh, today I'm wearing my favorite hoodie. This is the Blue Lantern hoodie from DC's uh, Green Lantern universe. The Blue Lanterns are the power of hope. And uh, I'm ending this week, this is the end of week one of the uh, No Added Sugar Challenge. Uh, ending this week, feeling pretty good. I got my Willie's Arnold Palmer, just kidding. Got my Willie's Unsweet Tea which is quite good. And, um, you know, I had an interesting dream last night. I, uh, which is usually a sentence that precedes something completely uninteresting, but it, it pertains to sugar wars. I, um, was in a restaurant and my dad was there and he had ordered two flapjacks, which for some reason I could see on the wall. Um, and, uh, I was like, God, those look so good. I was like, um, I was like, I told the, sh the cook, I was like, Hey, can I, can I get two of those? And, um, and dad's like, yeah, yeah, get, get us four flapjacks. And the cook took his knife and he just cut them both right down the middle. And as soon as I woke up, I was like, whoa, what does that mean? And I, I, I thought about it for a little while and I'm like, it means, I think that my next challenge is portion control and figuring that out because I still like this evening, uh, went to Willie's and, you know, had my chips and salsa and a full burrito. It's like, is that really what I need to run my body? I'm not sure. Um, but now that we've had the first week, I can give you some results. Um, I've lost five pounds. I've lost approximately two inches off my waist. It's hard to tell. Um, it's all wiggly and Pillsbury Doughboyish. It's hard to, it's hard to, hard to measure. I have a little, uh, I'll show you the tape I'm using. Like it's not probably the best tool for the job anyway. Um, but I've, I've lost a couple inches, um, uh, but the five pounds is nice. And, um, medically speaking, I've noticed, um, that, uh, if I avoid the sugary drinks that, um, the urine comes out sort of more clear and odorless. I don't know, maybe, you know, you, user, users, uh, experiences may, may differ. But um, that's that's one of the the side effects. And um, what I've really noticed is that um, there's a little a little grumble of of uh, hunger you, that is sort of omnipresent. It's right behind the navel, and there's also at night I can feel the organs on either side of the navel kind of chugging along. Like they're they're it's not discomfort. It's not like a pressure or anything like that, but just like a sort of a low hum or a little bit of a, a, a slight pulse where they're, I can tell they're, they're doing work that they're not used to doing. And as I understand it, after about a week or two, that's when your body really starts to go, oh, we're, we're not constantly dealing with, you know, corn syrup and all this stuff. So we can actually start to burn fat, you know, throughout the day as, as a normal, um, normal affair now. So those are sort of the big, the big results. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And now that I've had a week of pure data where I did nothing unusual, um, the experiment, it's not really an experiment. It's, it's a lifetime change, but, um, we're going to kick it up a notch. So now my plan is to forcibly reset my, my clock, because one thing I've noticed is that I do tend to sleep in um, to the degree allowed by my schedule, and that that is sure to mess with my energy levels throughout the day. And it's also, you know, I've got a lot to do. I'm working on a book. I'm working on a movie. Got all kinds of stuff going on. So I, I need more hours in the day anyway. And uh, more awake time also means more time to burn calories. So starting tomorrow morning, um, at the start of week two, I'm gonna. The next incremental change is I'm going to uh, reset my alarm from 10 o'clock a.m. to 7 o'clock a.m. permanently. This is just a new change, you know, and we're going to see how it goes. Um, I can't really think of much drawback. You know, I'll probably have an 11 o'clock bedtime, so I'm still getting like eight hours sleep in theory, although Mr. BB may have something different to say about that. BB, you want to you sign off with me, buddy? Hold on. Oh, goodness. 
This is my very wet kitty. I always give him a bath first thing when I come home. All right. Well, Mr. BB, say goodbye to our fans and thanks again, everyone, for the comments, the well wishing. Um, I look forward to uh, the week two update. And me and Mr. BB are going to probably give him another bath because he's a crazy waterholic. All right. I hope everybody has a great rest of your dwindling weekend and a great week ahead. And I will talk to you later. Bye.